This is the Algebra 2 practice test. Uh, this is question number 10. The question asks you which graph best represents one cycle of 2 times the cosine of x. So, I mean, we could do a lot of thought process about this is what the sine, uh, cosine looks like, and d doesn't look like cosine, it looks like a sine. Hopefully you have it in front of you. That way it makes a heck of a lot more sense. Um, but why don't we just graph it? If you look at the scales here, the y scale goes from 5 to negative 5, and the x goes from uh, basically everything's at the zero point as the zero x minimum and the two pi would be the highest that it would possibly go. So I went into my window and I changed it. This number is essentially two pi. I'm just rewriting it. And the x scale is how much each one of these grid marks is worth and it's pi to the second pi over two. So pi divided by two gives me a nice look. This should match much better to what I'm doing. Before I go ahead and do this, now you see that everything is in pi, so you have to make sure that uh, since we're analyzing the circle in uh, pi format as opposed to in degrees, I need to make sure my mode is set for radians. So I'm going to go into radians, set my radians, and I can quit out of there. Go back, and I can type in 2 cosine of x, and I'll graph it, and it gives me this look here. As you can see, right at 2 is where it kind of bottoms out, and then 2 at the top. So my only choices are here and here for the y to be the same, because this one only goes up to 1 and down to negative 1. So they're going to see where it actually ends. This one ends way over here at 2 pi. So does this one. So your answer for number 10 is h, because it matches the graph.